excuse to loosen up, which a lot of us need. Um, also, it kind of, uh, when you're on the clock, you're able to set that brush down before you overwork it. And so 10 minute paintings have uh, proven to be a very good exercise for us. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We talk about animal disturbances, right? So um, do I have someone that could time me? Yeah, so uh, Carol, you can begin it. Yeah, I like to show off. Uh, so for my stain, I'm going to use the two color stain that we're familiar um, that you have seen from me before. Start with ultramarine blue for my darks. This is where the tall cypress will be on the right, and sort of a group here, street or uh, lane. That, so that's my blue stain. Now I'm uh, using quinacridone magenta. as my warmer stain, although it's a cool red. When working on the 10 minute paintings, you gotta, you gotta just keep moving, you're on the clock, be thinking about the clock, and, and no getting, um, one thing I like about the 10 minute painting, sometimes my students, when they're unsure, they'll freeze. And so when, there's, when they're on the 10 minute clock, there's no time for freezing, you gotta just keep moving. Another benefit to 10 minute painting, sometimes you gotta just think less do more. What I prefer, you just, in the act of the painting, you just do. And once the painting's complete, then you look at it and reflect. And you think about what you did well, do that again next time. And what you did, what you don't like as much, you know, you sort of learn uh, through, uh, through the repetition of the painting. So we'll do as many as we can today. After the stain is done, I like to do a reduction. That's where I'll wipe away the light shapes. Here I'll be wiping away the light of the sky between the stand of cypress. The, as, as I'm squinting, I'll be, uh, I see that the road is also very light. And you see the scenes start to come together. I'm going to wipe away some light to suggest the, uh, the direction of the light and shadow across the path. A little light beyond. And some sky here I had missed. I'm thinking about drawing right now. I can't decide, will I draw? Uh, I'm gonna skip it. I got 10 minutes, so I'm gonna fly right through. I sort of see my scene clear enough, so I, I don't feel like I need any drawing for now. Ultramarine blue, I'm gonna paint my darks first. So I'm gonna paint the dark oh, cypress tree. <laughs> no worries, like that. Uh, so as I paint the cypress, I'm not gonna paint it all as one color. I see, a I see color variety. So I paint the top, top a little darker as you look at the top of the cypress against the sky, it's darker than the lower part, which is seen against the trees behind. There's a smaller cypress here, just in front of that one. And on this side. Carol, will you tell me at five minutes? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, so I'm air painting. You see me kind of swashbuckling here. That's just me air painting, keeping the, the the show on the road, keeping it moving. This is shadow on grass. The shadow on the grass being on a horizontal surface is still getting some of the light from the sky above. So it's lighter than the shadows on the cypress trees. Ah, that, that could use a pinch of white. I think it could be lighter. Yeah, I like that. That felt better. I'm air painting my way around, thinking about what should be my next move. I spotted a few cypress trees in the distance, so I'm gonna make those more of a mid-value. I'm using cerulean blue. That, just so I don't lose them. And then there's another stand just a little further back. I like the ultramarine blue for them a little better, so I switch back to ultramarine blue. A mm, little bit too matching the others. Got a, this is the nice thing about 10 minute paintings. I don't have time to dwell on things that I'm not satisfied with. You just keep on going. Get moving. So I just co I was just coaching myself saying, hurry up, hurry up. So now I'm gonna paint the hill or mountain in the distance. I started with cerulean blue and white. Have a little bit of the yellow in there to create a slight greenness. I put a touch down. I think that could be a little bit darker and bluer. There are still some of you in the group that I don't think are making your, your atmospheric distant hillside blue enough. I've gotta convince you that it is blue not more green. 
I like that better. I think I can go lighter though. And then I've got some of the similar colors on the other side. Oops. I touched that the the old blue the greener blue that I did not like. Our blue green. Air painting, see anything else I may have missed? Five minutes. Thank you. Shadows on the path will be next. I see them as a bit of a violet, so a blue violet. And notice how I've got the shadows casting in green, so I just attach the shadow, you know, the, so as the shadow runs from the grass to the path, let them correspond. Oh, I don't like that that's one, two, three, even fingers. So I just messed this, last, this one up a little bit. Don't love that green streak, but uh, no time to fuss over it. One other benefit to painting fast, you could do, in the time you would take to do one painting, you could do eight paintings, and then that's strength in numbers. So you, you could spend all day on one, and hopefully you leave with one good painting, but if you spend all day on eight, you're guaranteed at least one, but actually many more, some of your best work. Uh, so now, got a dark green. I want one more green back here. I wonder if this is going to stall me, but I'll just try to throw that in there. Um, sky and road are my next move. I set that blue-green brush aside. I've done all my greens and blues and my darker and mid-value colors, so now I need a lighter touches. i got to make sure I select clean white, none of the con none contaminated with blue. Um, looking and deciding if I paint the road or the sky. Right now, I don't have much sunlight on the road. You know, it's the passing light and cloud. So I'll, I'll buy myself another um, one minute while I paint the sky and see if I can get sun back on the road. And if not, I'll paint it as I remembered it and it's already almost there. I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow with my white in the sky, just for a little bit of warmth. I look at that and I think, wonder if lemon yellow would have been the better choice. Put a pinch of lemon on this uh, on this white mixture. And now I need some gray for the clouds. I'm using what I call memory color. This is their colors already mixed on my palette rather than drawing from the uh, uh, direct from the tube colors at the top. This has to be considerably lighter than the mountain. If you squint and see the mountain to the sky, the sky is much lighter. Even though they're gray clouds, they are lighter than my distant hill or mountain. And the clouds are just a little darker up further in the sky. Not dark enough. Try a little bit more. And now for the road, uh, Carol, tell me at two minutes. Now for the path, I have just a very hazy sunlight on the path, but I know I'll make it a warm. That's probably too warm for back there. That's two minutes. Thank you. That could have been up close and that's too lemon. I like more of an orange. So I mix some red with my yellows. I don't love that variety of colors there. I think I need another try. And uh, Carol, give me a one minute warning as well. I might be there. All right, so now I've got to fill these two big spots. Sunny green on that side, so I want green and yellow. <laughs> All the sounds of the farm here. <laughs> One minute. Thank you. Sun here in the foreground. <laughs> in plain air painting, you gotta make quick choices, and so this, these 10 minute paintings really train you to be uh, fast and confident, or if not, at least stick to your, stick to your choices. No uh, second guessing. <laughs> now in my last, and, and Carol, of course, uh, 
holler at me when I'm out of time. I've got to try to fill in the last few. Spent, I have just a little bit too much magenta showing in a few places. And then to strengthen the cypress just a little bit. If I could just run out of time right now. Same time. Okay. Uh, so there's my 10 minute painting. With all the distractions. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, thanks. Yeah, it is. Wow. So I, um, I hope this gives you guys courage to try it out. I'm going to try another one for you all. But um, it, when you're getting started, it'll feel very scary. But really, it's uh, proven effective for a lot of my students. And this lesson I got from Carol Marine's book, um, Direct Painting. And so I, one of my students did it, and I saw the great results. And so now I share it with everybody.